Oh, yeah. Ooh, pretty good? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, he looks decent. I'll come back and net him for you. I'll be the net man for the guide. Starting out with a big one, Scotty? Swimming faster than the boat. Walleye or snooty? I think it's walleye. Just an eater. Just an eater. Just there mad. Hey, folks, today on Midwest Outdoors, we are out fishing with guide Scott Zupfer. We got Darren Dressen in the boat and Brian Rua. And today we're out on uh, Lake Minabagosh, pulling some spinners for walleyes and a good start to it. One for the box. Snuck up on me. <laughs> didn't even, he hit so hard, I didn't even have a chance to uh, drop the tip on him. Pulling spinners out on a flat today. We were talking earlier about the, uh, when you're doing this, Scotty, you see him go for uh, minnows, leeches, crawlers. It really, the preference is day to day, isn't it? Goes from hour to hour sometimes. Yeah, it's a fun bite. It's a good way to catch fish. Get him. We got him. Yep, there you go. Nice. Brian's on. They're waking up. So when you reel down, don't drop your rod so fast. Make sure you keep the line tight. These hooks like to come out if you give them any slack. It's a big northern. Is it? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. A schnooter. A schnooty. Walleye's perch and now the northern. Oh, Darren's on. There, finally. Yep. Everybody's catching. You got a bullhead or a tuna? Yeah. <laughs> it's a big carp. <laughs> Always got to go towards the motor. Oh, he's still got some fight in him. Nice. nice. You know, we look pretty good standing up there. We do. <laughs> perfect for dinner. On the board. On the board. Oh, that's perfect, Eater. So we got everybody using different stuff today. You know, we got two minnows and two crawlers. Earlier in the year, we use leeches, pull them on the same spinners. I do like to have a variety because it changes from hour to hour. Later in the year, we'll go back to a minnow on a jig, but for right now, the spinner seems to be doing what we need it to do. That's a decent one. I don't know where I'm at compared to you. I think I'm okay. Shouldn't be outside of him yet. He's a fighter. Yeah. And coming up, feels decent. Now just don't horse them up. Yeah, that might be a better one. He's coming. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice one. Nice. That's a tank. Man, that's beautiful fish. Now, the Dorados, you're seeing them sell all over the country now, aren't you? Oh, yeah. Everywhere yep. from Florida to yep. southwest. Yeah, everything. Mainly on a V-hull boat, whether glass or aluminum? Yep. The way the latch is designed, it's got kind of a one inch center channel and then some angled sides to it so it fits up against the hull with yep. those V-holes. You're also seeing it on the mod Vs down south quite a bit. Yep, and out east too. Yep. Um, some catfish guys with sea arc boats. Crestliner's yep. got a bunch down, down in Oklahoma area. I mean, bay boats down in the salt yep, water market too. Bay boats down too. in the south, down in Florida, um, yep. some in Texas. Um, as long as that boat's got a decent V-shape hull to it, the bow eye is not too close to the tip and there's no kind of interference up front between the tip of the bow and the bow eye, like notches and fiberglass. Another one. Oh, get us yeah. get us food. It's got the horseshoe today. Yeah, we're gonna be eating good tonight. Guide showing us how it's done. I told you I was a good net man. Just a scrappy Stand eater. Stand down too. Come to the frying pan. Nice one. You think he's doing something different, but he's putting it in a rod holder, Darren. What's up with that? No, he's snagging them. <laughs> <laughs> that Dorado makes your life easy at the boat ramp, sure doesn't does. it? Sure does. I uh, unload and load my boat just about every day, seven days a week. Run about 120 trips a year, and I need stuff that's going to work that I can stand behind, and Dorado's that product. Well, it's been about 10 years you've been at this now. You've really been growing the product. You can't hardly go to a boat landing and not see Dorado latches on trailers. Been selling them in the United States, Canada. It's going great. What's the next step? Well, with all the sales we've been having going on, we're actually opening a new door with the OEM market. We actually signed with Lund, and now you'll be able to buy a brand new Lund with a Dorado factory installed.
But yeah, I got him. I finally got one with my left hand. Ole, it's a good feeling. I feel like there's some shoulders. If we were in a derby, Scotty, we'd want this one if it wasn't a Northern. I don't think it is either. You can see her down there. How big is she? Oh, yeah. You got one? Nice. 18 is the magic number. I think that'll 19 and a half. We're gonna let that one go and grow bigger. Tell you what, we've had a great day of fishing here with Scotty Zupfer. He runs a great guide service up here. Make sure you look up zupsguideservice.com. Uh, I want to put a big thank you out to Brian Brewer for coming along fishing with us today. And then, of course, uh, Darren Dressen. He's the man behind doradoproducts.com. Make your life at the boat landing much easier. Uh, look him up online. I'm Greg Jones. More Midwest Outdoors is coming right up.